one of the combos that they truly do like a lot with the Grimstroke is the... Right? Oh I wasn't gonna say Phoenix, but... All right. All right you they just, don't have Mars to protect it, though. Do you, you just Beastmaster now, I believe, if you're Liquid. If, uh, you've got to just hold up. Mm. Viper is the Spectre counter. It also is really good against the Centaur. You remove Return, Dispersion, um, uh, uh, Desolate. It could work. It probably won't be picked, but if it's saying it could. <laughs> but I think you just go for a Beastmaster. I mean, beast you have that double think, roar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it looks... It, it's also for them. Yeah, you want to be able to ensure that you can kind of clump up. The AoE on VP isn't really there, and the way Desolate works is if you're around no targets, you're taking massive pure damage. Beastmaster, you always got some sort of friendly creep nearby, and uh, plus the damage, you got good team fight, and really just want something that synergizes with your Grimstroke. That's BKB piercing. What else? Wouldn't see a Bloodseeker, right? And Doom's not a thing, so I just got... Is it, is it possible to just push the tempo? They banned out the troll that was really strong versus the lone druid. So maybe they can go for the it's, LD. Has it been banned out? I think not. I do like Lone Druid. Yeah, it's just put Beastmaster, Lone Druid, and just have this snowball type of a lineup that works versus Spectre. And I'm, I'm just, Mickey's, dude, Mickey's so good. I was talking with Will about this, um, but he's like just insanely good at everything. Kid is global elite in Counter Strike. He's oh, like hello. top 100 in FIFA. Oh, there we go. There's your LD. And uh, he's just a savant, really. And I was saying this in the pre-draft, but... What's he in FIFA? Like, top 100. Oh. He's really good. Well, that's cool. And there have been... How does he have all the time to be global, top 100, also playing Dota professionally? He's just good at games. I'm sure... He's like, got the gift. Talented. That's yeah, it. hugely talented. Yeah. And, Some of and us and grind first, like, forever. I remember when we were first seeing Liquid play, you were saying, okay, yeah, Mickey's doing well, doing good, and it's... Every game, you've increasingly got more positive. It's been this tile. way for years, man. I'm telling you, he has been try. At, of the top 15 teams in Dota, I'd say about 10 have probably thought about poaching him or have actively tried to poach Mickey. But this is another oh, reason probably. I love the squad so much. Since they came over from Han, mm. they have not separated, and this whole team has been together for now, going on like a year and a half. Synergy is always like, important. They're they're, they're they? actually friends. Like it's yeah. weird because. You don't really see that with the other teams. No, the beast has to ban out from uh, versus Fro. Sadly, we won't see it for Liquid. Mm. They need something sturdy to finalize this draft on the side of Team Liquid. They need something to to match up like Mars did in that last game yeah. with mm -hmm. Phoenix Seg. They need something very yeah. similar, something to protect the Is long DK an well. option potentially. Could also boxy. Void Spirit. I like this yeah. shot. I can yeah. just kind of be like interject. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like intruding I hate that on so, your thoughts. Like, I hate to see my hand in someone else's <laughs> shot. It triggers me so much, but yeah. <laughs> Timing. It's right, that's I, profit banned out. Could, could VP, <clears throat> this is a bit out there, but you've got potentials like Tinker as an example. Some other global type hero. Zeus isn't bad either against Lone Druid. You just get that massive global burst. Mm hmm. And you need raw damage output right now on the side of VP. You've got control, but Spectre needs time. You need something that kind of gets you through Dragon the mid game. Knight. There you go, the Dragonite. Double Grimstroke potential, also mm -hmm. a great Inkswell Pretty target. Good. Doesn't have to be offlane, can still mm -hmm. be mid with the Void Spirit on the offlane. They have a lot of potential like on that. setting up their lanes. But this is something that Virtus Pro has drafted even yesterday, yeah. right? With the Pugna and the Necro combo. It's a really good synergy because we asked for damage, but this is different. So Zeus, you have more like sustained magic DPS, but Necro is more durable. Mm -hmm. and you're still very high damage. Plus, mm. the Scythe is incredibly effective at killing any of these three big cores. Your concern... They do have a lot of magical damage coming from Yeah, Liquid. they do. You also but you have Oracle. Have, you have, that's true, yeah. You have Oracle. You should be completely fine with that. I actually, I, I think VP, this is, this to me is VP at their best. Mm. No, uh, you've got Rezo on his hero. A solid makeup. I, I feel Are you saying Liquid isn't on their best though? Just look at this hero. Maybe oh, Dragonite no. is out there, but all the others are completely. Ah, I just think that you, you're going to have a really tough time killing Necro. And mm. if you fail to kill him in one fight, like with you need to get Oracle is the problem first. But okay. then they have that double save because you've got the Decrep available. And once again, Liquid are really short on magic damage. So which way are you going, Carl? Give me the name. I think we got a pattern so far. It's going to be a three-game series. Liquid's all about it, giving the fans a show. And I, I really think VP, this is this is their bread and butter. We'll take this one. Okay, Liz, where are we going? Are you going to go against him? Uh, of or you course gonna I'm going to go against him. I'm going to go with Liquid. Why not? If they get that vessel and find a way to pump up the Lone Druid early enough with the Dragonite, I think they have a very uh, potent snowball potential, right? We'll see. But if you're not trying to split the panel, 
would you actually be signing with VP? I like what VP has. There we go. <laughs> There's the truth. There's the honest answer. Let's get into our second game, though. And I guess my words for Lacoste and Toby is, is it really just about the Centaur War Runner? Because Carl said it's just two words here. That's all that's needed for VP. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more to the game of Dota than what Kyle says. Uh, Lacoste, would you like to fill us in on the rest of it? <laughs> uh, Kyle had a good point about uh, Team Liquid not having enough like raw magical damage. So this is a Necro. If it's Necro without Pagna, without Oracle, it's still a great Necro game. But you add these two, the question is, how do you kill Necrolite? I really don't see them. Even if you get like a spirit vessel, there's going to be ways of dispelling that. Like he's going to build the items for himself to dispel it. You have Oracle. I don't know. I'm afraid. I'm really loving this first pro lineup. I'm, I'm a bit afraid for Liquid. Mm. Can they play this fast enough? And they always tend to do so with the Lone Druid. He comes online pretty fast. They have Dragonite, Boxy, one of the heroes that he really shines on. Mm -hmm. I know a couple of games he just went like Power Treads into a Blink Dagger so that he can close the gap, find the very important heroes in the backline, which is going to be the case this game. They need to find Oracle. Mm. If they can get rid of Sola, get rid of the save. Right now, Liquid, they're going to head towards the bottom. I like how ILTW is already sitting above them. The Fortune Zone was actually thrown on the Phoenix, so he can actually contest ILTW for that bounty rune. Just a small little fun play where Solo realized where Boxy was going and where Tiger was going because they wanted to get both. All right, so let's watch to the mid. Nikkei's already going to give the mid lane a bit, bit of an advantage. He let one creep through. So no one will get to battle underneath his own tier one tower. Uh, Carl talked about Mickey being good. What did he say? FIFA? Top 100? Uh, top 100 in the world? Yeah, but is it top 100 in Artifact? That's the question. Uh, does anyone ever ask that question? Well, I'm like, probably top top three right now. Me and there, Slack. Yeah, yeah, but are there more than 100? Are there more than 50? Are there more than 10? Are there more than you and Slack? There are. It's such a great game for Necro. Let's go back to real talk, you know, real game. And yep. uh, yeah, Necrolite should be able to dominate this lane. But even in the previous one, Mickey did not have a good laning stage. Monkey King was staying like 1k ahead of him six, seven minutes in. He still didn't die a single time. He had a flawless game. Man, I'm trying to keep my eyes on, on both the top and the bottom lane as well. Like, even though Boxy, obviously, is a Dragonite, he shouldn't die very quickly. He was walking around pretty damn low. And saying he's not going to get to keep his own courier is Pagna. Zaya like getting into the back line. He's even going to deny up his own nether ward. Because, you know what? He's just on top of things like this. Oh my I god, they okay. swap things around. Put Lone Druid on the mid lane and they have... Like Void Spirit on the side lane, they have much better combo with Void Spirit and Grimstroke. Even though you're playing like Void Spirit into Centaur, which Centaur really likes, I just think he's gonna get dumpstered on the mid lane. Well, so far he he kind of has. <laughs> it's 14-3 to the 5-0, and then uh, yeah, you're 8-0 for Koitva versus Resolution's 11-2. And Resolution can just hoof stomp and retaliate up, and my god, Koifa! Oh my. Resolution just needs one more hit. 70 plus 30, he'll salve up in the tree line. There was no support because Zyke is keeping Grimstroke very much under control. And these networks are really going to start to spread out as well. 1100 to the 1600 in the mid lane and you're two and a half minutes in that's the advantage in the in the favor of no one obviously he's still gonna salve to burn still yeah also the problem is you need to bring a lot of region to this lane if you're mickey while necrolite he really does not you have a built-in aura you're harassing him with the aura having a region for yourself yeah, you gotta stick to try and help him on that front uh, it really feels like no one doesn't care. Like, Mickey, he's looking at burning two salves in the span of a minute. I like how ILTW is giving a couple of tips over to us. Like, all right, you want to contest my pull? You can go for it. If you want to kill my support, you can go for that one as well. Spectre loves the solo space farming underneath their own tier one tower.
Box is getting free farm. I mean, you can't really just kill Dragonite here. It's a Spectre Oracle, and Box he already two points in Dragon Blood. Unless you shut him down early on, get a kill. Uh, it's very hard as time progresses to like grab a kill at Dragonite Bracer, some magic resistance, magic wand. And Box is good to go. Like he gets a power treads, and I also want to see a fast blink this game once again. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he can get it. My god, no one. Okay. Also, very careful with his life. Underneath the tower, Icarus dive forward from Tiger. No death pulse available. Already committed the one charges. In fact, no one wants to stand his ground. He loses courier to Tiger. Very fire up. He can't get close enough. And it's Tiger who will actually end up spilling the first blood with Mickey staying on top of the Necro. Oh, man. And he gets a region. This is how you tilt him. No one is known to be easily tilted. They kill him. They kill his courier. After all this advantage that he built up, and now Mickey, he picks up the region rune, which is gonna give him a way back to this game. Like he just farmed a full creep wave, full HP, full mana. Uh huh. No one, don't forget the range creep. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it really it's makes me happy for some reason, you know, that they got a kill <laughs> and uh, they picked up a region. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying yeah. not to be biased or anything, it's just, you You're know. just a little sadistic. Icarus dive yeah. on the top plane, Pugnet trying to run himself out of here. A couple of stick charges, can't get back to the tier 1 tower safely. And the same as Inkswell gets the kill, and this is now going to be bounty runes. At the same time, ILTW, not something you normally see, seeing your safe laner actually moving off the lane to pick up both the bounty runes on the bot. The I'm Radiant not surprised. Side. He played position five Slark last game. Uh, I don't know if he if there's swap positions or anything. You really should not. Like you're losing a couple of CS. Well, there's uh, I suppose Oracle was already pulling a wave off too into a double stack. So there's a lot of experience being oh, denied to this DK. Mid. They didn't get the kill. I would have been, well, been close, but I would have felt like you needed a little bit more than that. Up against, like, stick charges, bottle. Mickey can be pretty damn efficient, and... Tiger's looking for his own jump once again. Three heroes. In the mid lane. The Radiant Observer Board is watching that position of Insania. He knows he's behind the trees, but you just jump forward with the ink swell, pull back with the Remnant, turn on the Sunray now, no one. The heal will be tested. And he does not pass. Solo arrived as quick as he possibly could, but into Sunray. Difficult, disarm, decrepify, oh, blast, and the nuke of, of Oracle. You just amplify absolutely everything you've got. The only thing that is missing is a Dagon. The Tiger, now going to work with Insania. Looking for their target. Over towards Oracle. He's got eight stick charges of his own. Another root down on Grimstroke. Decrepify. Anyone got a blast? Nope, not enough mana. In for the Pugner. He's only got Fairy Fires. No mangoes. Man, they killed him twice already. He used the Reaper Sight. Didn't get anything out from it. Like... We might be joking about it, but it really sometimes affects your gameplay. Like, I need to do something. They're like, gonna kill I've Pugna. had all this advantage, Pugna, in a bit of trouble. He really won't have a quick look around. The render will make sure he goes nowhere. Uh, put down a sentry ward, looking for the dire obs, but it's a little too far away from him. And Boxy's really started to do some chunky damage into ILTW. Don't think he... Okay, he's looking for the kill underneath the tower, especially because Tiger's here. Icarus dive forward, hits with the sprites. And there's not enough life. In fact, Tiger just turns on the Sunray and Zayak could do little to no damage to that DK. Has a flask to work with and a dragon form. So I want to see more heroes from Liquid rotating to the bottom lane. So they can put some pressure on the towers. And like, they made a rotation on the mid lane. Three versus three for quite some time, which benefits... Lone Druid on the top lane, he is getting a lot. Uh, same goes for Centaur. What are you laughing about? And Tania, he just knew he was dead. <laughs> he walks down the ramp into Oracle as well as Pugna and gets the same combo we got before. Uh, difference is he dies from, the, from this one. But that's getting stronger and stronger as time goes by. Mickey. Another yeah, he... for no one. Like, that's the best rune you can get. Arcane rune, on Void Spirit, matches all your purple spells. Bonnie the Spirit. Mickey? Have they got enough for him if they can hold him in position? 
No, there's no holding you in position. He just astral steps out. And there's no way you're committing Reaper Sight that early on. Maybe now the Spectral Horn is up, you do really think about initiation, but Boxy does the same thing. Dragon forms up on bottom lane. Liquid, they three-man smoke up to also head south. That's where they can hold hold the outpost. Or take the tier one towel. Or both. ILTW is going to need help. Ready. His TP's don't cool enough. Eight seconds. Top lane. MP. Yep, Koifa uses the Savage Roar, forces them away. The bear's low on life, but it's also out to safety. And Phoenix TP's in for this one. The scan from the Dyer, it did actually connect on bottom. So they know that ILTW, because he threw out a dagger from the tree line. That also helps out. Who could it possibly be who has I... a Spectral Dagger? <laughs> they should just go for the tower. Like, there's no way ILTW dies here. Wait a Vo second. Voice TPing. They're going up to all this top. Centaur, the worst target you can go on. But now Reaper's Scythe. It'll do the work. Boxy will go down. Insania starts his own TP out. And no one will take care of the outpost. That's, uh, that, that wouldn't have been part of the plan. Tower is extremely low. They also, like, try to make a rotation on the mid and top lane at the same time. Maybe got a bit too overzealous. Wanted too much out outpost. of the map. That should go... Yeah, okay. It's a 1-1 one -one trade-off. What bothers me about the outpost, if you don't have any kind of stun, like they're just gonna take your outpost. You can't contest. Oh, you, for 10 minutes, you fight here. That's my problem with the outpost. You need to be here at 10 minute mark. And look at me, I already started the channeling. It's nothing you can do about it unless you have a stun. Mm -hmm. Likely both these teams have a decent amount of those. Either that or you're just like, hey, channel and I'll just keep hitting you and kill you. That'll also work. Mid lane is being heavily pressured by Virtus Pro. It's Catapult Wave, level 2 Blast, and you've got Spectral Haunt up and running. I don't know if he wants to use it, however. Uh, mainly because Spectre's not that healthy. He's already one charging in preparation for the fight as Lone Druid comes in to defend the tower. Same with the Grimstroke. They'll get rid of the Catapult as the primary target. That was costly. But then I also watch Resolution turn on Retaliate and gain like basically twice the amount of damage he had before to push the tier 1 tower. So mid oh, tower Liquid is going to be denied by Liquid. Oh, Spectre denied the bottom tower. Liquid. All right, did everyone they, I did not see. Did they deny a mid tower? Yeah, they did. Okay, so it's a very, very good trade for Virtus Pro. They denied the tower, they took one, even though one of those got denied. Mickey is gonna go for the same item build this game. Going for Desso. I wanna see a faster spirit vessel. One of the reasons why they are giving Taiga a free lane. Like, he already has Urn of Shadows. Needs 1.5k gold. He should have it in the next, like, four minutes if they just leave him solo here. He's not going to get pressured out of the lane, well, apart from Resolution, but that's only once to get the Blink Dagger up and running. <laughs> once again, we outpost trade out. So much vision from Team Liquid. Uh, just shallowy in this bottom lane. Two Observer Wards, they're in almost exactly the same line. But it lets them know every single time Spectre comes out to farm. So if they feel like there's an opportunity, but they don't see it on bottom, so instead they look towards the top. And they will need everybody for this. they are got to get through a Centaur with a Hood of Defiance. At least he's already burned the charge. That's one upside, but he's also running away and they don't have control. It's been a while since I saw Laundred going for Radiance. Like, usually Wait, it's really? Massive Madness into Desso. But if Mick is going for Desso, then Laundred needs the figure things out for himself and it's gonna be like amplified magical damage for necro any decrypify target missed chance against specter but that comes online like five to seven minutes later than the death so no one really wants to hunt for this kill 
They drop down the sentry ward. They know there's no vision on the hillside. Grimstroke is the primary target. They can trigger the Reaper side. They can keep that vision up and running. In fact, they just save it for the moment. Insania has already gone down underneath the 2-2 tower. Two Buyback will come in from Insania. And what a big egg up on the hillside. The Reaper side that doesn't kill up the Boy Spirit. So he'll end up surviving through this one. And everybody from VP getting heavily stunned up. But the sustain is still pretty damn good from Vertus Pro. What have they got? Oracle hiding in the tree lines. He's going to get that false promise up before death. Unable to do so. Same with the 17 one charges. And Vertus Pro, they needed that save to keep the fight going. So no one in solo both die around the same time. And all that initiation that Vertus Pro used oh, now can't be used to get the centaur out. There's a come forward. Nah, doesn't have the distance on the remnant. I think Vertus Pro just wanted too much out of that. Like Spectre is going for Radiance as Hood queued up. So it seems so early as well. Like the Blink Dagger was almost there from resolution. You could have had that as your initiation. Interesting. That's what we call it. So Dragonite will have a Blink Dagger for himself. Arcane Rune. Next ulti will be up in 50 seconds. So both the offliners have a Blink Dagger. Even though Centaur is more farmed, he has a hood on top of that. But it's very important that Taiga gets the farm. Like, one of the reasons why they left him alone on the top lane for quite some time, just uh, 500 gold away from this spirit vessel, and he has a charge on urn. Smoke is ready. Time to go. I think they are waiting for the spirit vessel to be completed. Oh, and Dragonite to have ulti once again. VP but aren't waiting. They got the Blink Dagger on the Centaur, they're looking for a fight. And Grimstroke is presenting. There goes your rune, hoofs on forward. Dragon Knight gonna get caught out. And now all the magical pop damage they've got. He's actually just gonna TP. Uh, did anyone save a stun? Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an oopsie. I don't think you, you would even get him. Phoenix was nearby with the Fire Spirits or just Sun Ray. I think they would back off. Also, double edge used before the Crypify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just not find that perfect synergy of their abilities. And VP will need that. They still hold the top two net worths on the board. Listen, what I'm going to test with my friends today uh, mm -hmm. is extremely fun. The, the, I came up with the idea yesterday. Maybe someone thought of it before. Uh, Life Stealer infests one of the heroes, then you eat him with Pudge Ags, and then Snapfire with Ags just spits them out, and then you have like three heroes popping out of nowhere. So but then I'm you require really Pudge. Pud, so, <laughs> Pud, so Pudge can't be trash, and Snapfire needs to be more than what she currently is. And then maybe that will actually happen. It will happen, trust me. We, we're doing it tonight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Combo might be good, but heroes might be trash. Doesn't matter, it's all about having fun with the friends. That's what Dodo is about, but uh, not for these guys. They Centaur. are living from Dodo. That's a quick stampede away. No one, however, not taking the same retreat. The Mickey, with that stolen haze dream, was hoping for something. He won't get anything just yet. Once aggressive vision being planted by Insania, he will get very far away from anyone that will know he's there. I think they just prep for the fight in mid-tier one. That's the vision coming down. And Pagna's gonna have to TP right now if they're gonna be here for the fight. Good information from from uh, no one if he can survive, but the blade mount's gonna come out if they got more spirit control. Yeah, they do, but the false promise, it's a great leash. Oracle, as well as Centaur, can't move away, can't cast anything for the moment. The leash then changes over, and the Nova, they just can't move away, Virtus Pro. Team Liquid just finding the perfect combination position now. Showing VP how it's done. They also don't have the hero that hits Phoenix Egg. Now with the Spirit Vessel charges, it's gonna be so much easier for them to take a fight. Next book should belong to Taiga. They wanna get, like, level one Phoenix ult is not that great. Five hits to destroy. Level two, eight. I don't think you're gonna go for Phoenix ever. Mm-hmm. Unless, well, yeah. ILTW is like, I'm going to haunt and I'm going to go to the target that's well away from Tiger. But he didn't even join that fight. Like, that went off and no spectral haunt. 
ILTW didn't want to fight yet because he's still trying to work on the Radiance. Virtus Pro are trying to buy him that space. And they've done a pretty good job. Relic is coming out in the Courier. And with the Ancient stack, he's trying to clear through. <laughs> Needs some extra life. It's like, hey, Solo, can you, can you actually help me for a bit? I need some life to do this. Even though he's doing it underneath the Dire Ob's Ward. For resolution. Ah, he's really hoping for the kill on Tiger, but Tiger knows. Spectre's kill participation, like LTW's kill participation in both of these games has been very low. Involved in only... I mean, they have four kills. What am I talking about? He's involved in 50%. <laughs> That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, because give him some time on this one. But in the last game, it was also his atomization. In this game, he has to wait for his atomization. Without the Radiance, joining a team fight doesn't seem like a, a wise idea for a Spectre. Zayek's feeling the pressure up on top. Actually, feeling like he's baiting. He kind of wants Boxy to jump him. The Resolution walks onto the Orbs and Sentry. They throw down an extra Sentry as well, just knowing that Resolution has no information about them whatsoever. Just here for the creep wave. Nothing more. VP should not take a fight before Spectre gets the Radiance. She's gonna have it in 150 gold. It seems like the fight is gonna start now. Ah, they're backing up. Pugner is just playing bait in the trees. How's Koifer doing? So we did actually end up finishing up um, a Maelstrom after getting the Mask of Madness. Now gonna go in for a full Mjolnir. But he did bypass the Desolator and just got the casual Blight. So that still works for him. Yeah, I preferred that item build on Lone Druid. Like, Radiance comes a bit faster. Radiance is up. But ILTW, he'll be down. Everybody jumps him. And goodbye, Spectre. No buyback of Marble. Those TPs are coming in. In fact, you'll cancel one of them. Just let Solo stay on the ground. And you see, when you see Spectre farming like that, you know the team is not around her. Like, the rest of the team wants to play on the other part of the map, and then she just joins with the Haunt. Mm -hmm. Now Liquid are gonna do what Liquid do best. Push down buildings with the Lone Druid. They got a Dragonite, it could be their frontliner. However, they've lost the Creep Wave thanks to the fortification of the Tier 2 Tower. They're back into the jungle, and the first hero to crack 10k on the net worth is, is the Lone Druid. And they really need to do something about that bear. Scan connects, but only for a second. They only caught a glimpse of Oracle. Koikwa, that's the hero that they want to find. Yep, they need the real one. At the back, resolution, where's that blind blink? You'll have to do it on the ramp. He's able to hit the hooves up. No, the Savage Roll! Koikwa, so quick on the button. <laughs> and resolution cannot complete the stomp. With that, maybe they would have had a chance. Spectral Horn was also burnt by ILTW to join that fight. And now heavy lines being drawn from Liquid to go bottom lane and just push straight back out again while Sometimes Haunt is down. It's all it takes, like one millisecond. If he didn't get that Savage Roar off, he would have died. I did look that way. The rest of Liquid were a little bit too far out. And look at Liquid. Push the advantage so fast. Four heroes smoke up. They have, again, perfect vision. This Observer Ward right on top of Virtus Pro. They see everything. Resolution's nearby. He's kind of your front liner, but they haven't broken the smoke yet. Now the jump in, and quickly, Oracle onto Zayak. One to the next. Liquid want to keep pumping through. Solo will get the buyback available. Necrophos, he'll need an extra little bit of save. What? And the Insania, that was an interesting Reaper Scythe. And interesting is not the great interesting here. A Stampede, Virtus Pro, they just want to disengage. Boxy caught in the wrong side of the tracks. He will go down. And Resolution, the hop stuff. He caught Tiger. Mid jump. Mickey, he's going to have to jump himself away from this one. No, he goes. Goes in. He's looking for the kill on Solo. The dieback is what there. The Zayak, Tiger will finally be brought down. Resolution. One more stun in one more second. Now he's got it. Mickey. He can't get out of here. He's going to lose another. Oh, Team Liquid. It looked like the perfect fight at the beginning. And now they're still on the retreat. Resolution's blinks off cooldown. Again, Savage Roar from Koifa forces Resolution away. Insania's going to take man. the regeneration rune. Just a quick swell. Maybe he can get some distance and survive. That was an optimistic hoofstomp. 
a lot of misused spells in this team fight. Like no one uses ulti on a Grimstroke who's full HP, but Rezo kind of saved the day with the catching the Phoenix mid air. I want to see next set of items for Team Liquid. Dragonite with a BKB. They don't have any abilities that go through BKB, so that's gonna mm -hmm. be a big one. He's just a thousand gold away from it. Chasing Pugna? Yeah, they know where he is. <laughs> hey, Zayak, that's pretty confident, man. You could have just stayed in the trees where you were after the blink came in from Boxy and TP away to safety. And now he's gonna TP underneath three heroes. But hey, finished the Spirit Vessel. Objective complete. Yeah, that Philosopher's Stone really helping him out. Spirit Vessel, such a great item. Like, Spirit Vessel, Hounds, Halberd, top two for sure. No. He gets to do something right for his team and then die. That's totally fine. Solo seems to be just doing it on the back of buybacks, as that's the only way he can stay alive for a fight. This is take the initiation. Spectre's also moving forward with hit, with uh, her item progression. So the Radiance is done. I suppose level 2 Pupil's Gift, uh, neutral items, yeah, that's that's okay. We're trying to work towards a Manta style. He's gonna finish the Hood first. Yeah. He wants to be able to reduce any kind of magical damage coming out from Spirit's Vessel, Void Spirit deals stun, and Lone Druid. Like those procs from Yolner. he's also going for MKB next. Man, Koi Koi is the best Lone Druid in the world, no doubt about it. He really does love this hero. He's actually, he might be the best Lone Druid player who actually plays it right now. There are still a lot of fantastic Lone Druid players in the world. A lot of posturing from Virtus Pro, looking for the bounty runes. Mid lane, okay. They need a stun to catch him, but... Okay. They got the stun. You can drop the scythe on this. Mickey dead for 75. And with the spectral horn, ILTW quickly moves over towards Insanius. Mickey want to buy back. Yes, he will. Underneath the tier two tower, Team Liquid look to fight. ILTW and Resolution cannot Damn back the up. Egg. They were soul bound together. They haven't done anything to that egg. The pyramid is untouched by time. Centaur will try and get his own run out of here, but that sunray burns. He got Looking fresh range. meat up on the top, a hoof stomp. He's trying to keep the, the spirit bear away, just out of range of the remnant. So now resolution can TP away to safety, but look how fast Liquid, they go into the pit. I don't think Liquid wanted to make this kind of a bait, but it was perfect. Like they used two long cooldown alties, they killed Mickey. Mickey buys back, gets a double kill, and now they get into Roche pit. They're gonna give Aegis to Mickey, so it doesn't matter that he bought back there. Like you think, oh, it was such a great, you know, play from Virtus Pro. They got mm -hmm. Mickey, but what happens next? Yeah, you lose everything. Now it's Team Liquid who have the advantage. Gold and experience, experience a lot more than gold flowing their way. Solo is putting up the defensive vision. So, all right, okay, guys, we're gonna get, we're gonna get ganked, we're gonna get pushed. And the smoke carrier Grimstroke is TPing. Actually, he's TPing all the way home, but he'll come out. And they'll look for their fight, Team Liquid. Resolution's still one hell of a beast on that Centaur. Landing hoof stomp after hoof stomp and getting out closer towards that Assault Cura. So maybe Virtus Pro can just outlast Team Liquid. Full Greaves on no one. It's a lot harder to control them, but it feels like time and time again, Insania is getting double soul binds on double on two cores. I say double soul binds, as in soul binds on two cores. Yeah, plus they can throw Spirit Vessel on top of that, and now with the Dragonite's BKB, they will be using multiple Dragon Tail stun just to control them. Like Koiko didn't die this game. They're doing such a great job protecting him, even though they don't have any kind of save. Like the only save they have is Sunray. Mm -hmm. That's working Solo. a charm. Mid lane. Goodbye, Solar. You should have never know your... Tiger turns on the Sunray to get the kill. And Solo is dead for 30 seconds. Another great vision from uh, from Virtus Pro going to get removed. Observers and sentries down on Instanian's Observer and Sentry. Corvus Bear, by the way, is an absolute beast. 
He's put he's put the greater fairy fire on on the bear. So now we're sending about two hundred and fifty a pop. Two fifty plus if you proc a Mjolnir. Two hundred magical damage plus monkey king bar a hundred bonus magical damage. So that's like five fifty. Are they gonna try and fight here, Butters Pro? ILTW does have a spectral horn up. They put the Nether Ward in the tree line. They have their own information, Boxy. Oh, he blinks up aggressively, looking for the Dragon Tower. It's done underneath the tower, however. Necrophos very quickly saved. That false promise got thrown out so early on. And Team Liquid are already in full retreat. Dragon Form's got another 10 seconds left on it, but they smoke up. They're not in full retreat. They're pulling the Rock's Kiss, the Blink forward, the Dragon Tail stun. Pugna instantly caught by the Remnant as well, the Void Spirit. Oh, you remember, you called it Rock's Kiss. It's been a while since I heard that theme's name. Hey, you know I'm a classic yeah. on the uh, on the memes. Yeah, fake uh, back. It still works, you know. Looks like you're going back. Oh, our Dragon Form is running out, but um, you still take that fight. Yeah, I have Auto 10 seconds. I, I can make a lot happen in 10 seconds. Lone just bought something. Coming on Courier? Uh, I see Shiva's. I don't see anything on Courier. Just, yep, looking towards Basher as his next item. The bear's already got enough control as it is, hey, but hey, throw out more resolution. Trying to be the front line to get rid of the vision. Able to do so with just one quick sentry. Solo, not where he wants to be. Thought he was safe in the tree line, sitting behind the Spectre. But wasn't expecting all of Team Liquid to be to the north, and now ILTW very heavily caught out. He's looking for a target to, to jump away from. He got Tiger, who was up the hill, and with the Stampede, they'll get him away to safety. But oh no, he's not home, not yet. The plane was caught halfway back, and now ILTW. Look, Foxy doesn't even want to finish the job. He's moving on to the support kill. Well, Dragon Tail Stun will wait it up, and they'll come underneath the Tier 3 tower. Virtus Pro are crumbling. Zayak will fall. He's got no one to help him out here. At the same time, however, Liquid don't actually have... <laughs> they don't have a creep wave. That's slightly problematic. The way Box is playing, like, he understands. They try to chase the Centaur. He finds the opening on one of the supports, then finds another stun on Spectre, blinks in, realizes that Spectre's dead, so they get an extra kill because he's not greedy. And also, perfect debate from Liquid once again. They were controlling the bottom outpost. Verse Pro fell for it. That they did. They can't keep falling for things like this if they want to, well, actually stay in stay in the uh, playoffs. Gotta remember, this is Elimination Dota. Verse Pro have been doing the hard run. They went through Hell Races, they went through Nip, they didn't drop a game until now. And Team Liquid, such a commanding position. And they'll look for a new target. Eventually they'll have to go high ground, but they'll take out the remaining tier two tower on the top lane probably before they do that. Yeah, there's no way they defend this tower. All right, Radiant, they just smoked. smoked. Plus a scan, they know where they're standing. But Liquid is the one who's holding the high ground. You, you, can't, you can't do this, like Supernova is up. Tiger will be uncontested. Unless they're hoping for someone just to be well out of position. Spectral Horn's only now coming off cooldown. The bear will TP out, and that's the best thing they can kill off at the moment. But now you're starting over on the bear, and you may not even kill him. Oh, you got him. You got him. But hey, Koifer's got another. Icarus die forward, the slow over on no one. Very juicy target, but Liquid, they're not taking the bait, because Boxy's waiting in mid. He's going to Shadow Blade, wrap around the back. The Observer Ward sees everything. Necrophos just bashed up. He'll go into the... Okay, he, I thought he was going to be... He was going into the fight, but you didn't have an Oracle behind you. Now with, his, with the uh, Phoenix Sun down, there's also going to be that big stun to catch every single Four player. And Tiger on. turns on the Sunray. Get burnt. Totally toasted up. Virtus Pro is gone. But I'll buy back into the game. I can tell you. No bailout's gonna get you back into this t into this fight. The fight is over. Team Liquid have won it. Where is Pro, man? I I can't believe they're, they're taking this. They, they, uh, they've been climbing uphill with no vision, try to fight around it. They successfully scanned, and this is the place where 
like dire. They want to have a vision. They're holding the high ground. It's one of Definitely. the toughest spots to fight into when you're radiant and you don't have a vision. Necrolite was the first one going in. Maybe they tried to, you know, bait with Necro and then Oracle saves him, but still you have inferior vision. Mm hmm. Definitely seems questionable at the best. But, like, how the hell do you do you now stop this if you're Virtus Pro? Like stopping yourself from walking into into darkness, that is that's definitely one one way around it. But you're still 16k behind. Your Spectre is not that all powerful hero you expect to have in the later game. Resolution's doing the best he possibly can. But there's no follow-up, there's no spirit vessel charges. Macrophos is he needs someone to drop someone lower before the Reaper Scythe can be properly effective. And that magical combination, it's, it feels so weird, because if you look at the net worth, obviously Lone Droid is just so far ahead of everyone else. Spectre is still almost on par with the DK. But then you got to remember, the DK is kind of like a three position. Yeah, you don't really feel Spectre doing that much in fights. It's, at this point, it's just the Radiance, you know, Hood is for her tanking up. She has they're Yasha. Kill top. They get, they're, I think they're trying to kill Centaur. And I also think VP are just using him as bait, so ILTW can farm up the last part of this Manta style. I cannot believe that tier 1 tower in the bottom lane is still up from Liquid 2. It's not even just up, it's, it's got like just over 200 damage to it. 35 minute bounty, so Zach's gonna get as much as he possibly can, but the TPs are coming in. And his TP will take him out. And Boxy's about to finish his Aghanim Scepter, then BBD is gonna come online. I don't, I don't think you can fight into BBD. Oh. That's a big black dragon, big daddy dragon. <laughs> I'm glad that you get to spell that one out for everybody. And there it is, as you said. The dragon's up, Roshan's up, Lone Druid will bring him down. That bear is now hitting 304. Each attack. Has a pistol blade ready for control too. That's an interesting TP. DK, coming to the bottom. Sees the nether wall on the hill, he'll get rid of that as quick as he possibly can. It's like Virtus Pro would try and prepare to fight on bottom lane, but there's, there's no fight to be had here. But they can't TP home instantly. In fact, Centaur's TP's on cooldown for 30 seconds time. ILTW is now going to do his TP out. But the rest of VP have to wait. They want to go insane here. DK is right behind him. Zayak going to get a Creeper 5 Blast, but where's that double edge? It was a little too early, so Grimstroke will get to live and Zayak will get to die. Trapped in the tree line, silenced up, and Boxy triggers the dragon form. You lose your Pugna for just, well, 72 seconds. That's a long death timer for 36 minutes into a game level 15 hero. I just realized Necro has two boots. I mean, it, I can't see underneath, but seems like he has two legs, so maybe that's the reason. Thank God uh, he's not playing Broodmother this game. <laughs> we don't have enough slots. Solo is gone. All supports lost for Virtus Pro, and the Black Dragon form is still up and running. In fact, they're not even caring about backdoor protection. Fortifications available from the Radiant side, and they're going to have to use it. Liquid have actually managed to force him to use backdoor protection before uh, uh, the fortification before the creep wave even arrives. Without supports, Virtus Pro have to let this Rax go. They cannot defend it. ILTW is ready for his own jump, but this is also taking time. He only just got the money for buyback. Yeah, you, you can't take this fight. You need five heroes, and this is their last try. Like, Lane is pushing in on the mid. It's do or die for Virtus Pro right now. I like that. Minotaur Horn for the Spectre. Couldn't have come at a better time to grab that from inside the jungle. On TP in to defend the front. A quick move away from the Void Spirit. He's got Aghanim Scepter, so one very, very confident Void Spirit. Not to mention the Aegis the Immortal. Okay. 
And you can't even kill off the bear when he walks around with cheese. But I probably have to stay inside their base. And Team Liquid can pick up some tier 4 items if they want to actually do a little bit of farm. I think that's what ILTW is looking for. He's just looking for any any kind of farm he can get from inside the jungle. They've shut down Spectre completely. She can farm only when Creep Wave hits the tower. And also this belt from Boxy. Like Shadow Blade so he can hunt down people who are pushing the side lanes. Hey, if you can kill off the bear, you at least remove most of that net worth of uh, Team Liquid. Everyone else is still on even par when it comes to the, when it comes to the cause. Maybe not so much the supports, but caused. Boxy slips himself in. No sentry wars planted in, so Oracle instantly stunned up. Is there any kind of save? Can he actually survive through this one? No, he can't. Oracle's down. So is Solo. And that's really going to be the game. Virtus Pro have nothing more to give. This Spectre will have no real influence. Another stun arriving. Thanks to the Supernova. And they have no more, no more defense in the tank here, Virtus Pro. Team Liquid. They dropped the run of the playoffs, which has been two woes when they played Alliance 2-1 earlier today. But they are here to 2-0 and set things back the way the playoffs have been for the Pushka League. We got a 2-0 victory for Liquid. And this is it, man. Liquid just looks uh, like a team. Their execution is, uh, I'm going to say, it's 